Lexington Station. Welcome everyone to my channel. I hope you enjoy the video. And if you do, drop a like, comment, subscribe to my channel. Greatly appreciate it. And without further ado, let's play. the locker. Line 18, box number 3. Line 18, box number 3. Okay, down here. That's one, that's eight, two, eight. Okay, eighteen should be. Uh oh. This way. Line 18, box number 3. They make these video games now look so realistic. It's amazing. in a hotel, I believe. Let's see what's in the box. Mm. Guns. 
cell phone. What else? Airplanes. I mean, those paper. Uh, Paper designs with the gun and cell phone. Mm. That's crazy. Is that his stuff? Are you prepared to show courage to save your son? Joe's Garage and Parking Lot, 4988 Roosevelt Avenue, Lexington. Okay, let's see what else he got here. A recording. Probably gonna have a son on there. to go to save someone you love. That's a question. Right, five original figures. Each figure is a trial. Each trial uh, each trial provide letters. The letters reveal an address. Get that gun. <laughs> mm. All right, put that under there. Put that under there. Go find the sun. Unlocked a new bonus. The killer is white, aged between 30 and 45. He doesn't act on impulse, but plans his crimes in a very meticulous fashion. He doesn't have anything personal against the victims. That's why he covers their faces with mud, to make them anonymous. Why does he kill them if he doesn't have anything against them? For him, they're more of an image, a symbol. That's probably why it gives him an origami figure and an orchid as gifts to apologize for what he's done to them. Very interesting. And where does all that get us? The best way of tracking a predator is to be familiar with his behavior. That may be true in novels, but there's a child's life at stake here. Continue, Jaden. One detail attracted my attention. The interval between the time when a victim disappears and the time when the body is found ranges from three to five days. But the rainfall is always at six inches, give or take 10%. What on earth does that mean? All the victims were drowned in rainwater. The killer kills only in the fall when there is plenty of rain. It could be that he puts them in some sort of well or tank that is open to the skies and that fills up with rainwater. Oh, drowns. More it rains, the less time the victim has to live. Then I studied the geographical distribution of the murders. Generally, a killer commits his first murder near to where he lives, so he has a safe place to flee to if any complications arise. The more confident he becomes, the further he roams from his base. By analyzing the locations where the victims disappeared, I was able to isolate a zone where the killer might live. And what size is this uh, zone? For the moment, about 10 square miles. Ah, oh, great. There must be 10,000 people live in that sort of area. You get a question them one by one? The more clues we get, the more we can reduce the zone. We can then cross-check it with our list of suspects and identify the killer. So what's next? 
There are two suspects whose psychological profile might fit and can be connected to the comfort zone. I'd like to question them. God damn it. We're wasting our time with this bullshit. The killer's out there somewhere, and we gotta get off our asses and find him. Blake, I've had just about enough of your shit. You've been chasing this guy for what? Two years? And what are you caught, huh? Nothing! Absolutely nothing! What, you think you can do a better fucking job than me with your psychology degree and your great glasses? Well, let me tell you something, pal. That don't mean zip when it comes to getting out there. You're just a fucking bureaucrat. I came here to find a killer. And that is exactly what I'm gonna do. With or without your fucking help. Fucking asshole! That's enough! <laughs> You said it took six inches of rainfall before the victim died. How much time do we have left? If the weather forecasts are right, less than 72 hours. All right, tough guy. No answer. We we'll waste our time coming here. Maybe we should have a little look inside anyway. There's nobody home. And? <laughs> there is now. <laughs> I'm not sure that's entirely legal. Call the cops. <laughs> yes. That's illegal. Looks All like right. Nathaniel Williams is a pretty religious guy. He's a God-fearing idiot, waiting for the end of the world. We questioned him a few months back because he was causing a disturbance in the park. He was ranting and raving. He said he heard voices. Had this idea in his sick little head that I was the Antichrist. I'd come to Earth to persecute him. Real twist. Skies up. The walls are covered by writing. Quotations from the Bible. Mm. This is the right house. Oh, they're just kicking in doors. What a mess. Oh no, the guy, he didn't clean up. Sink full of dishes. Whoa. Uh oh. Uh oh. Watch out. Good timing, Nathaniel. Just the man we're looking for. Angels and ministers of grace defend us. I'm Agent Norman Jaden, FBI. I'd like to ask you a few questions. As God is my witness, I haven't done anything. I'm innocent. Relax. Nobody's accusing you of anything. You just want to talk. Where do you work, Nathaniel? You have a job? 
My sole occupation is praying to the all-merciful Lord for the salvation of humanity. Why all the crucifixes? You afraid of something? The hour is nigh, and the wrath of God shall strike men down. I am preparing for the end of the world. Nathaniel, do you remember where you were last Tuesday at 4.30 p.m.? Here? I was here. I was praying. All day. Was there anybody with you? No. No, I was alone. What about the voices, Nathaniel? Do you still hear the voices? We know who talks to you, don't we, Nathaniel? Well, we both know who talks to you. Don't speak that name. What does he say to you, Nathaniel? Blake, what are you doing? I can't talk about it. You mustn't talk about it. He orders you to go and find new prey, doesn't he? He needs more and more. No! You mustn't mention him. You'll bring him here. He told you to go and find that kid in the park. The voices tormented you all night long. You wanted them to stop, didn't you, Nathaniel? Stop! Stop! That's enough! So you obeyed them to make them stop. You took that boy with That's you and you drowned him. Leave him Isn't alone. that right? No! Stop! Stop! Oh. You killed them, didn't you, Nathaniel? Are you gonna confess, you bastard? You are the Antichrist. Put uh -oh. down the gun, I Nathaniel. I shall you to your father in hell. He is the son of Satan. He was sent to earth to destroy Shoot, us. For Christ's sake! Shoot! Calm down, Nathaniel. Nobody here wants to hurt you. Put the gun down. Concentrate on my voice, Nathaniel. Listen only to my voice. Team, you shall regret confronting the emissary of the Lord. You shall know divine power. I... I shot him. Yep. Looks like you did. Can't say I'll miss him. <laughs> Come on, let's go. What's wrong with that guy? <laughs> yeah, I can say this is a pretty decent uh, game here. Very interesting, very intriguing. So I guess he's at his house. He's still investigating. here first. This is Vault. Oh, Jesus. It's over. I can't take it anymore. <sighs> take care of my baby. Oh, Jesus. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Anybody home?
Hello, little cutie. Oh, no? you looking for your mama? Hey, right, where's the phone? <laughs> oh boy, there's a bottle, right? We got a, a bottle here. Oh, you can't even get that. Oh, wow. Alright, let's see. Oh, hang on, baby. First, I gotta find Mama. Right, Come on, I have to search the house. Maybe it's not too late. Nothing is there. Right. Came in that way, didn't I? Let's, let's see. Okay. So. Letter. Holy fuck. I hope she I hope she hasn't. Come on, I have to search the house. I Maybe it's not it. too late. Somebody running. Mrs. Bowles, Mrs. Bowles, are you there? I'm gonna call an ambulance. No, I, I don't want to go to the hospital, please. Okay. You got something around here I can dress this wound with? Yeah, I think so. Okay, mm. don't move. I'll be right back. Let's see. I need this, and this, and this. I'm here for you, Susan. You'll be all right. I'll take care of you. There, 
I've done what I can. That should stop the bleeding. Well, luckily the wounds aren't too deep. Hey, how are you feeling? Okay? My baby. My baby needs me. Right. You stay there. I'll take care of the baby. Okay. Mm. Do you know what to do? With a baby, I mean. I'm a private eye. There's nothing I can't do. <laughs> her name is Emily. Oh, oh gotcha. Shoot. I'm going in the bathroom. Hi there, Emily. So, what seems to be the problem, huh? Oh! Going by the smell? I got a pretty good idea. <laughs> okay. How you do this again? You changing the diaper? <laughs> Fresh new baby. All righty. That should feel better. Right, Emily? <laughs> hey, what's the matter? I thought we solved the problem. Bottle. Uh... Maybe she's hungry. I guess I better warm this thing up. <laughs> oh, Emily, are you hungry? Huh? You hold on. I'll just tilt this bottle a little bit so you don't jump. Drink their bottle quick. All gone. Mm. <laughs> oh. Good job, Emily. Hmm? 
You're feeling good now, right? <laughs> now, I'm gonna rock you very gently so you can have a nice little snooze. Okay. Oh man. <laughs> oh, gosh. Sorry, kid. You're not done rocking, right? Messed up. That's better. Thanks for looking after my baby. Mm. I didn't want to leave her. I just couldn't cope anymore. <laughs> Jeremy around. He was such a good boy. I can't understand why anyone would want to hurt him. Do you take care of this baby on your own? Doesn't Jeremy's father live with you anymore? He disappeared. The day after Jeremy. I don't know what happened to him. Maybe, maybe he couldn't take it. Ever since I've had to look after Emily all on my own and I couldn't do it anymore. I understand. Did your husband say anything before he disappeared? Did he leave a note or something? No. He left the house without a word, and there was just a cell phone. A cell phone? I need to see that yeah, cell phone. I, I found a cell phone <laughs> in his dresser. I'm sure it wasn't his. I'd never seen it before. Hmm. I tried to turn it on, but it didn't work. That's a clue. Do you still have it? 
yeah, it's uh, it's in a drawer in the living room. You can have it if you'd like. I'm sure it's of more use to you than to me. Thank you. Do you have any family or anybody to help you? Yeah. My mother. I didn't want to ask her for anything. We don't really get along. Mm, how real but is that? I guess I'm out of options. <laughs> well, look after yourself. And Emma. We have relationships. Like I will. I or none. Good luck, Emily. You take care of your mama. <laughs> okay. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.